guys welcome back so I am starting out this look with my eyes and I'm just priming them using the Tarte Shape Tape concealer all over those eyelids and then I'm going into the Sigma and Beauty Bird palette it's the dream palette and I'm taking the shade Frenchie and I'm just using a Real Techniques setting brush to set my lids down and then I'm going ahead and applying some tape on the outer corners of my eyes then I am going into the shade Boo Boo on a Sigma E40 and I'm just starting to blend this all the way through my crease. Then going in with the shade Caramelito, I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm taking this shade a little bit higher up towards the brow. And then I'm going into the shade Tacos and Chill and I'm using a MAC 217 brush which is a bit more precise and I'm just starting to build that up in the outer corner and then I slowly bring it in through my crease. And then I'm going into the shade Woof Woof on a teeny tiny little Sigma E36 brush and I'm applying a bit into the outer corner and then taking some through the crease, obviously very precisely with this little brush. And then I'm taking the shade, I think it's called Fearless, it's just a matte black and I'm doing the same thing. I'm not taking too much of the black, I just wanted it to be kind of like a subtle enhancement and darkness in the look. Then I'm going back in with my shape tape, this one is in Fair Neutral and I'm using a Sigma F70 brush to cut my crease on both eyelids. And then I'm going into the shade Mata, Mata, and I'm spraying a little bit of setting spray onto my E55, and then I'm packing it all over the lid. And then I'm going back into the shade Tacos and Chill, and I'm just using that tiny little brush just to blend the two shades together so that it was a soft kind of transition. And then I mixed the two shades here together woof woof and fearless and I just did the exact same thing just added a little bit more depth then I'm going in with the quick flick to the point liner I'm not using this stamp I'm just using the like jumbo eyeliner and I'm creating two wings on my eyes and then I'm going in and taking the tape off and then popping some black liner into my waterline this one's from Rimmel and then I'm taking the essence I need a miracle mascara and just coating my lashes and for falsies I use the makeup geek graceful eyelashes so just glued those on and I just use my socialize tweezers to squeeze my lashes together Moving on to the face, I'm going in with this Natio primer, it is a bronzing kind of primer and then I'm going in with the Benefit Professional just in my T-zone to fill in any open pores and then for foundation I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation, I think this one's in medium sand but the colour will be listed down below so I'm just popping some of that on and blending it all out using a damp beauty sponge and then for some cream contouring I'm going in with the NYX mineral foundation stick and carving out my cheekbones and popping some around my hairline, my temples, all of those kinds of areas um, I think this one's in the shade Caramel, so it's just like a deeper foundation shade. And I'm using the Quartz Beauty Face Sculpting Brush to blend all of this out. Then I'm just going back in with my damp sponge just to blend out any edges and kind of enhance my contour a little bit. And then for concealing my face, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand down the center of my face. And then I'm using the shade medium in kind of like the areas where I have blemishes and uneven skin tone. And I'm just blending all of that out using my damp sponge once again. 
Then to set my concealer, I'm taking the Astralis Banana Powder on a Models Prefer 103 brush, which was filthy dirty. I really shouldn't have used it, but YOLO, whatever. So I'm just pressing that into my skin, and then for the rest of my face, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Minerals Foundation powder foundation and I'm just using an eco tools full powder brush just to set the rest of my face then to contour with powder I'm taking benefit hula bronzer and first of all I'm using the quartz beauty face sculpting just to really carve out that line that I wanted and I applied a little bit around my hairline with that brush and a little bit down the sides of my nose and then I switched over to a NYX Pro Powder Brush and I just applied more of it so I was nice and bronzy. And then I go in with a bit of Models Own Shimmery Bronzer just because you can never be bronzed and glowy enough. And then for blush, I'm mixing these two shades out of the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just using a Sigma F10 to apply that to my cheeks. And then to highlight, I'm taking the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin on a Quartz Beauty Shimmer Veil brush. So I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and just above the arches of my eyebrows. And then I just went back in with my sponge just to kind of mesh it all together, I guess. Back onto the eyes, I'm dipping into the shade Boo Boo on my MAC 217 and I'm just starting to buff this underneath that lower lash line. And then I'm taking a little bit of Tacos and Chill on my Sigma E36 and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm basically taking this from outer corner to inner corner. And then I'm going in with the black from the palette. I sprayed my Quartz, Defi Quartz Beauty Flat Definer brush a little bit and I just picked some of that up and I'm lining basically along my lower lash line. Then I picked up a bit of the shade Libra and I popped that into my inner corners with a Sigma E30 brush. And then on the same brush I'm taking more of that Mata shade and I'm just basically popping that into the very in a part of the lower lash line and then I took this gold shade because I just wanted my inner corners to pop a little bit more it's called Concita I think and then I just popped some mascara on my lower lashes and then for lips I lined my lips using this Rimmel lip pencil I totally forget what the shade is but it will be listed down below so I filled my lips in completely and then I went over the top with the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Rum Punch. And then I went in and sprayed my entire face with the CoverGirl Outlast Finishing Spray and that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.